Okay, how do you say? Welcome, everyone. Bahaybe. Hello, hello. Is it storming over there in uh? Uh, elsewhere in Oklahoma, because we just had a storm come through Clinton and Weatherford area this afternoon. Oh, no, it stopped. I mean, it might be sprinkling, but it's just, no, probably about two hours ago, maybe. Oh, holy. <laughs> <laughs> oh awesome. Um, well, let's see here. Uh, oh, I see. So we have uh, Tim, Courtney. Cricket, um, Aunt Carolyn, sounds like, and Grandma D, Miss Velma, Grandma Dorothy, and Miss Marion. And we'll. Sure. No let's see. And looks like. A... Oh, there's Miss Velma. Hi, Miss Velma. Here, Mo. Yeah. Huh. I haven't seen baby all day yesterday. Okay, go ahead. I'll be back later. Okay. Did you would you feed Dorothy? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hi. I ain't gonna torture y'all to look at me. She she came back and brought me a brought me something from one of the restaurants. So. Oh, I'm cool. Go ahead. I'm just gonna listen. <laughs> okay. Oh. Awesome. Uh, well, I think we have a good group to get started. So um, let's see, Miss Marion, are you able, uh, can you hear us? Miss Marion, would you be able to open us up with our opening prayer? Bay dot sorry. I think you're muted. Okay, maybe she stepped away. Um, Grandma D, are you able to? Say dot, say. I don't the big tide don't get get my hand on that time the day the big they don't get a whole they get on dog get dog and the dad or dog on the get time get all day they don't and be all hot don't get time the or the bed are holding, don't get, I don't get, but don't get, don't get, get all day. I on the dog, you get high, they thought, but short does on it, all No, no, I'll tell you, be there on the, on the dog, ailing dog, they on the young high, get the dog, the bed, I hold the cog. I go Tom Dopo. I can't pay the the dots out there. I hope. Over her. I hope. I hope. I hope, Grandma. Oh. Great. <clears throat> right, let's see. Oh, hey. Uh, that looks like Nelson joined us as well. I'll awesome. Be back. I'll be back. Okay, so um, let's see. I think uh, so. What we've been doing um, is uh, kind of going around and um, first having everyone, um, the learners, have a chance to ask um, our mentors questions that they might have, and then we've been also hearing from um, 
all of the uh, teachers, the anyone who's teaching Kiowa, whether it's a community class or in the schools, um, having them share kind of some updates and things that's been going on with their class, just so we can all kind of share with each other how things are going and get ideas and, you know, things with each other. And then uh, we've been practicing um, our conversational skills. So uh, this week I sent, so last week we did the first two lessons, uh, well, the past couple of weeks, and then this week I sent three lessons. So we can look at um, lesson three, which has like the cumulative language from lessons one, two, and three to kind of uh, practice having conversations with each other. Um, and so that's kind of what we'll, we spend most of the time doing. But uh, first, before we get into practicing, I want to see if anyone has any questions to ask any of our mentors or each other. If you were saying Anadarko Warrior, <laughs> you would say Anadarko. Anadarko Kaito Kaito Go Ado Anadarko Warriors. <laughs> but you're mixing it up, you know, together. If you're doing something as a name, as a, uh, uh, why would we be making a poster for a football team or something? There's controversy even with my children now about there being no word for Carnegie Wildcats. Has anybody heard that? On the house, oh boy, there was no word for me, my vocabulary for a wildcat. But I heard they made it up, made, made a word up. Are we allowed to do that? Well, um, I would say that's <laughs> up to our elders. <laughs> At or like, I don't know who gets to decide the <laughs> language board. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I would. I to me would think it would go through the credentialing board to see what was. That's the point of of them. You know, yeah. it's kind of uh -huh. like in France how they have the. Uh, I don't know what they call it, University de Francais, and it's a it's a language. It's like to keep to have control over what they allow in the French language. And then they'll make up they'll if they don't want like a long time ago, they didn't want to use the word Walkman in English. So they made up a word for it, you know, but it went through the University de Francais or whatever they call it. And it was it's their language uh, um, uh, preservation, I guess, or I don't know what you'd call it. But anyway. That's what I think of our board, <laughs> our credentialing board. That's who, to me, that's who it, it would need to go through. I met that problem one time in the last seven years. And Dr. Rachel uh, Jackson and a few of the colleagues of hers, we got together and we had to all sign a paper and make sure it was correct the other way. You can't change it. I would not correct any of my mentors if I was taking it from you. We're here for a reason. And you're all fine teachers, all of you. But that Pope, so holy boat poop, it's from our creation story. And it shouldn't be put in the same category with a wildcat. <laughs> to me to make that up. But everybody has their different reasons. This is my heartfelt reason. What do y'all think of it? It's a school. It's a school. I said Alcoy or Zelbe Bao. <laughs> <laughs> and put it like that because it's a uh -huh. something that way instead of trying to change the whole program. What did they end up calling it? I don't know. They said something with Pope on it. That comes from that Tzohori Boat Pope. Boat Pope. Huh. It's a Stony Roads song. Hmm. 
And I didn't look, I don't look in no kind of glossary. Sometime, uh, sometime Melody and I will look or I'll ask Dane or I'll ask one of you girls. Mm -hmm. But I don't look at a glossary. Mm -hmm. So Well, I think it should be approved through you guys before yes. running with it. Oh, I agree. Uh, so there's Grandma Martha Nell. She just jumped on. Yes. Yeah, uh, Grandma Dorothy, you should ask your question again. Oh. This should be your, your work or my work? Every one of us five should put our version of a Carnegie Wildcat. I know it's Anadarko Warriors. I couldn't think of a name for Anadarko. <laughs> so I just put Kaiwa Warriors. Oh. As an example, we never, our, our elders never named a football team. <laughs> Land of the honeybees, the people for, of the honeybees. That's the Caddo, Nadarko. People from the honeybees. That's what Anadarko is, Nadarko. The old grandma used to say that barely spoke English. She said, Anadarko, Abanma, or Toyoigu. Where there's a lot of houses. Yeah. That was our version of town. A lot of houses. Toyoi Gutsu Abanma. Or Azen Guabanma. Agency. Break it. Can I oh. ask you a question? What was the subject about before I came on? Um, the, uh, oh, so like there wasn't a word in Kiowa for wildcat and we were talking about how we felt like it should go through the five, the five person language board, um, mm -hmm. before running with an, a brand new word. Mm -hmm. So. Do you know what that word is? What, what is Carnegie? How, what are they saying? What is the uh, word they're using? Seem like the fans would have come up with a correct way already. But what they don't what what is what do they say? I mean, what's I the kind of word they're using? What their made up word? Uh, we don't know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, she says it ends. <laughs> she says it ends with a uh, boat pope or something. That's where they get the spots. Mm -hmm, that's a little under your belly. Yeah. You're a wildcat. I don't know. You're a wildcat. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Yeah. <laughs> look at let me look up a picture of a wildcat. <laughs> and then I, I heard them I heard the chairman and the vice chairman said go ahead and use one version. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make it public. They're my relatives. I didn't give that word. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, All I know, this is Carolyn. Uh, several years ago when I was watching OETA and it was about the Cherokee language and there they have a board who meets twice a year. And if someone wants to change, uh, use a Cherokee word for a Kiowa word, the board would meet and decide on what to, how how you would say that English word in Kiowa. And I can't remember the examples that they gave, but it was in the last two years. And I watched OETA late at night, like at one o'clock in the morning. So I can't really remember all of that. But I do remember that they had a board of elders or language uh -huh. Uh -huh. Kiowa like, who came uh -huh. up with New Kiowa word, new Cherokee words. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, that kind of sounds like something that, you know, now that us Kiowas have a credentialing board for the language, you know, maybe that could be something that, you know, we could think about in the future, you know, doing something like that. And that way you kind of basically, you know, what's going to be included in the glossary, for instance. <laughs> And you can let let young people know, you know, the the way to kind of say it 
through Kiowa speaking, mm -hmm. you know. That could fall like go back on that on the credentialing board as a you know, like another um, you know, like do the same thing, meet once a year or twice a year, even just once a year, um, to see are there any um words that we would want to start to include, you know? Or not. No, that wasn't a word. <laughs> It's serious. It's serious. This is our language. I was corrected when I named my own great great grandson. It's great grandmother. I know the name. Don't correct me. I tell my own children that. If I did wasn't sure, I would not be telling you. This really kind of struck me. We just can't go as Kiowas and start making up our language. We're insulting the bonds that came before us. Oh. What you guys think? Period. Do I me. think you're right on. I agree. What do you think about it being part of the credentialing board's uh, responsibilities? I think they're all, I don't want to say experts. Not really. Well versed in the, in the Kiowa language, all of them. There's another one that came on. The, there's countless Kiowas that meet that category. Still, we're not all gone. And I don't want someone coming along later Marion has helped me a lot on some of my pronunciations when I when I when I get stumped. Velma knows she was raised by. I know uh, you guys are good, and if you can't do that, I don't know what it would mean. Well, cat, a cat. I thought it was a bao tail, <laughs> and we call him bao for short. What you guys think? I know y'all are bored, probably. I just—it's just something that when you're by yourself, you think everything. Hyundai, Hyundai bought Oh. So I was just looking in the glossary, and I found this. Put it in the chat. It says, um, it's a definition, I guess, for a lynx. And it says, a large wildcat resembling the common bobcat. I put it in the chat. Okay. And it says, uh, let's see. So there's, uh, how do you say that? Atom. Atom. And then. Atom. Uh, Atom. Autumn. 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 Um, nurse. Or suck. Autumba. 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 That's what that means. It means to suck, nurse, or suck. Um. That's interesting. Autumba. That's the word for audible. Audible. Oh, the really? name came from Lynx. Oh, oh um, wow. That's really what's, cool. What's that? In the chat, um, Miss Marion said, so uh, let's see, one or two. Hold on, let me pull up. Here, I'll show you. Let me share my screen. I'll make it easier because I know not everyone can see the chat. So here. Uh, um, okay. Tell me if you can see it. All right, so right here where it's highlighted, can you see the glossary? Oh, uh -huh. Okay, so this is, I think, uh, where it says three or more. Miss Marion, is that the one that you were saying? Oh. Is Audubo? It's either autumn and autumbo, it's the same thing, but it means that's where that word name, Audubo, came from. Audubo. 
A ton, bro. Um, Is that the way you say it? A ton, bro. A ton, bro. The N, you don't say the N, it's just your nasal. Mm -hmm. A ton. Oh, you don't say the N. A ton. No. That's yeah, a linker or a bobcat. It's not a wildcat. Mm -hmm. A ton, bro. A ton, bro. Time, if you the look too down, George it comes. Look too uh, down. The symbols that comment. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right here. Yeah. There you go. Um, We're looking for a wild cat. Oh, Tom Bohon. Personal name George Goomba. Yeah. Oh, Tom Bo Bo. Oh, Bo Oh, yeah, Link's hat. So it says this is a wild cat. This you could say one autumn. Autumn. It's but if, if you're talking about if you're talking about a team, it's gonna be three or more. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Grandma Dorothy, you said something about it has that boat pope in it or something. I bet um, they use that word, huh? What about this word? Oh, uh, pope. How do you say that? A hot to an athongia. Call pope. Call pope. Call pope. Call pope. But that's a wildcat um, resembling. That's a bobcat, lynx, and also applicable to leopard. But it's um, resembling um, a common bobcat. Oh. Oh, Tom, ball. Oh, Tom, three or more. Why don't we box That's it up and, and come up with our answers next week? I'll <laughs> come up and I'll oh, put oh, oh, this cat. other one. And uh, you know, on the Rocky Road and uh, saying Pope, Pope Doc, it's so oh, holy Pope, 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 say yo, it's so oh, holy Pope, Pope. So holy pope, pope, that's where they get the polka dots. Oh, um, does that is that why a uh, bobcat is called uh, pope because of the polka dots? Yeah. The dots? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, yeah. So holy pope, 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 say oh, so holy pope, pope. So hold a boat, Pope. It's when the Zaydi Talis killed her husband, the snake, and he had he had he dots on his stomach. Snake. And, and it's a warning song. M O U R N I N G. M O U R, not morning. Oh. And singing. also, also, if you have freckles on your face, you're Pope. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just That's cute. Right. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's cute when it's a remarking story. Name. I kind of frowned on the name, Mo Pope. Mo Pope. Yeah, Mo Pope. Mo Pope Day. He had freckles mm -hmm. on his nose. Yeah, that's where that name comes from. Oh, wow. <laughs> and and you're digging deep there, and I don't want to name the Carnegie Wildcats. That we think of our football teams, too. <laughs> I heard this came out of the horse's wow. mouth. I heard the chairman and the rice chairman said, go mm. ahead and name them that. Well, who asked to name them anyway? <laughs> <laughs> so we're just here for, <laughs> it is kind of fun. It's not funny. I mean, this emergent story is not funny. Oh. But don't compare. Mm -hmm. Marion at uh, it came up Kokom. Kokom, you know, with that the Kaiwa name. And I was really surprised when she she told me how you pronounce it. Come on, Marion. Yeah. A Kokom. A Kokom. Yeah. A Kokom. Go ahead and call it. Kokom. Kokom is Kokom. Mm. Yeah. Go ahead and call him now. Yeah. Coco. And y'all know the famous guy one name, Coco. And they massacred that name. That's Alice's uh, relatives. Yeah. Alice's relatives. Uh, 
my um, it's a cocoa quality and it's called Thank you, Toki. How did it turn okay. into wow. Satoki? I love Thank doing that. You. Names. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So what is the walk hat? It's a horse map. What you think, D? Is this here in the chat? Is that it? It's Pope. I think they're saying it's um Pope. But maybe it should be um Pope got. But it's not an actual just wildcat. It means several different types, of, you know, kind of a generic word for a cat in the wild. Oh, shit. What the hell? I'm saying things are so damn cheap. What? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you guys decide on the name for wildcats and suggest that for them? Uh. It's a football. <laughs> It's a, it's a on pope team, I guess. On the about side though. Oh. Um. So, do you think? Do any of y'all think that the Kiowa Language Credentialing Board could start some type of process for, uh, people? You know, for Kiowas to submit words or submit requests to the board like officially i don't know using some type of uh uh like uh you can do like you know those little surveys where people can enter things online and it tracks it and it can like keep track of it and then share the list with the language board what, what do you think about that do you think that's something that should be you know thought about a little I think it's a darn good idea. We would not have been selected if they couldn't. They were not. I don't want that responsibility. I, I want it because I don't want them quoting your husband in the future with another deal. That's what we're working for. We're, we couldn't keep up with the one before us. Uh, uh, that's why we, we listen to the songs. Yeah, I'm I'm just not that confident in my Kiowa vocabulary. <laughs> but I, that's what I said when I came on to work with the language. I don't read it, I don't write it, and I I lose my long term memory. And I talk it, and I know I'm doing it to the best of my how I heard it from my elders. Well, I had elders too, but grand Kiowa mm -hmm. parents, both traditional and Christian. Mm -hmm. And so, anyway, uh, personally, mm -hmm. I don't, uh, I don't have that. I don't think that as a credentialing board member. That's what I am to good credential the teachers. And so I want to stop there. That's my personal feeling. But I'll be able, I mean, that doesn't mean that I'm not willing to help, that I'm pushing it out. Just, I just don't think that I would feel that. I just don't think that that's my. One of my responsibilities that I want to take on. What was the question, Melody? Uh, could you read? Hey, <laughs> oi, Dale. I, I, <coughs> I didn't quite follow it. How do you say wildcat? <laughs> In Kiowa. Oh, no, it, about the credentialing board. Oh. About uh, um. the suggestion. Yeah, the question, um, well, I was just wondering if, because uh, we were talking about, uh, yeah. Grandma Dorothy was asking, you know, how how do we, or how do Kiowas determine what, when to make a new word? Like, 
what constitutes making a new word. And so we were talking yeah. about like what the Cherokees do and then also like what the French do. They kind of have a um, a board or a committee of people that meet to decide what words go in their official dictionary each year. And the oh. Cherokees, um, Aunt Carolyn, could you repeat what you said about the Cherokees, Aunt Carolyn? I was watching OETA late at night, like, well, like one or two o'clock in the morning. And they said they have a board of Cherokee speakers and they meet, they met twice a year to come up with new Kiowa, new Cherokee words. So like if there's an English word and someone wanted to say, well, how do you say it in Cherokee? Then they would meet twice a year to come up with some new, the new Cherokee words words uh -oh. Did people let me draw the line and say that I think there should be other colors not just the credentialing board yeah um, I so uh, I want to get yeah. this straight because I'm tired of being corrected you tell something and there's surely going to be two or three people they say no you say it this way Mm -hmm. okay. Gotta make sure you have the right words and that type of thing so you don't start a new language. That's the scary part right there. Oh, Having that the is correct pronunciation. Oh. Our tones. And well, and my question because was like. Yeah. Okay. And it takes more than just the credentialing board because they don't. I agree with what the Lord said. It's going to take others that know the language. And I'm wondering how many are left. But Marion, there might be people at be on the board if you're gonna. I mean, but I mean, I don't think it should just be freaking missed the credentialing because they or ours is a. Mm -hmm. I'm not on it. Anyway, uh, that, like I said, I'll be glad to help. But we had such such um, board and. Anyway, I don't think it's going to get any further than tonight. <laughs> but we're talking about it. Mm -hmm. Well, just keep it in your little pocket and maybe we'll worry about it later. Oh. I'll put it ahead. I stand corrected. <laughs> well, I said I stand corrected. Lord, dear, there's no, you're helpful. Go ahead, play your music. I'd help. So does Dolores. I don't know if there's anybody in the hinterland um, that speaks Taiwan. This is Alice. Um, can I say something? And I, I don't think I'm an expert whatsoever. Um, but just observing the Ki the Kiowa elders, and um, I feel like there's a lot of elders out there that might feel like Grandma D that don't want to be the be all end all. Say so that this is how you actually say the word correctly. I feel yeah. like there's going to be a lot of talk about this is how you say it, but there's going to be a lot of differing opinions. And it's going to be hard to come to an agreement like this is the actual correct one way to say something because just learning language right now with with um, what we're doing there's you know look how many um, look how many different cats are described by one word so I mean in one way I feel like it would be a good thing but in another way I'm like who's gonna how do you come to an agreement when you know we have different um, ways to say things 
if we grew up in a different part of Oklahoma, you know, like different Kiowa districts um, have different ways of saying things, just how you, how they grew up. I mean, that's what I've learned so far in um, learning um, our Kiowa language. It's really hard to come to an agreement that one way is the only way. That's just my opinion as <clears throat> a novice um, Kiowa learner, anyway. I have a comment. Oh, go ahead, Belma. You didn't. One day. I was gonna say go ahead. Oh, I thought you were speaking. Oh. No. I was going to comment that there you're learning the language now and that's a great big gun. Uh, that's a job. And to put something like putting in words, I think maybe stick with this learning. But, you know, I guess they could get tied to place for her. So, that. I guess I guess yes. In the TF study, that well, I was thinking about what the students are learning at this time because there's the language is so huge. But uh, there could be new words. But then there's always disagreements. And that's not sometimes it just becomes a problem <laughs> because people disagree. But I think that's something to consider and work on, but to the side. Because there's a well, I think it's a good discussion, though. Yeah, that's a good discussion. A very good discussion to some and something to think about because. <clears throat> So like some tribes start making up words and we don't want that to happen. And uh, and that's why I like the University de Francais because um, it's about it's it's about their language and keeping um, control of uh, what they allow in their language. And um, and it's, and one person doesn't decide it's, you know, a whole group of people meeting from different departments, meeting together and um, and deciding what they'll accept every once a year in their in their uh, in the French language. So. <clears throat> um, I think I, I think it's a good idea. Maybe the credentialing board could be part of it, but like. Um, as Herger said, add more uh, um, people to the process and have that discussion and talk about it over several meetings and then come together after the discussion of all these words and um, and then and then vote. Oh, I think that I think it's important to think about that because. Our languages, I mean, languages naturally evolve over time, especially as new things are thought of and people have new ideas and things like that. And so 
you know, there should be a way for us to continue to speak Kiowa even, you know, a thousand years from now, you know? So I think it's important to think about that. We have a glossary. So we have something to start with. <laughs> and then, you know, just like- Thanks uh, today. <laughs> that right. was- all all his work he did that amazing yeah and dane updates it like every year it's it's just so much work so yeah he does an amazing job with it and the fact that that we have that now as a resource is just amazing um and you know that's kind of what uh english language do you know you know uh sometimes we get a on the news, you hear, oh, English added a new word to the Oxford Dictionary or something. You know, I think it'd be kind of cool if uh, Kiowa's had a, some way to say, oh, Kiowa's added a new Kiowa word to the Kiowa glossary, you know, and make some type of announcement. I don't know. It would just feel a lot better than like all the slang terms that people come up with because you know we don't know everything that all of you know and you know we don't want to like miss marion said we don't want to create a new language <laughs> we want to be true to who we are we want to think kiowa even you know after we're all gone even the translation of our names are honorable we have very mm. few, we have very few off color words in the Kiowa language. We do not have uh, vulgarity. You make it what it is. And I can even remember that growing up. Our, lo our song, our, 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 none of our names are, it's just too shameful to mention that are about bodily functions or stuff like that. I'm too embarrassed to say some of the names of other tribes. And I'm glad we keep it that way because it's true Kiowa. I guess I'm too old for my time. You better teach your, go ahead and teach your songs. I'm sorry I brought it up. I had no, a terrible good. call last night and I spent half the night in the emergency room. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no. I, I spent half the night. I fed. Oh, no. I crashed on my kitchen floor. Oh, oh you just. A repeat of when you're old. Oh, no. Be careful. Yep. That's why I don't want you to get hurt. Thank you, Marion. And Tim, that's why uh, Nanette called you. You still here with us, Tim? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thanks for carrying my baby, Sunday. Oh, it was an honor. It was awesome. Oh. Um, well, let's see here. Should we uh try some practicing? Oh. Okay. Let me find where the lesson is that. All right, so we did lesson one, lesson two. I think we're on lesson three. Okay, so let me share my screen. So basically what we did um, last week and the week before is we, we've been just uh, using the conversation and then we'll pick a conversation and we'll pick someone and then they'll be our conversation buddy and we'll go through the conversation and then that person will switch roles and pick someone else. And then, so that way everyone gets a turn to ask and to respond. So that's kind of what, and then uh, our mentors can jump in and help correct us on pronunciation. 
that's what we've been doing. Uh, can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so let's see, lesson three is open-ended questions and statements after greetings. So here's our the language, uh, giving a reason for coming to things. Um, what are you doing? What are you making? Um, and then are you doing okay? Are you well? And then everything's good. So I'm going to scroll down. Sorry for the scrolling, but I'm going to go to the conversation page, which is on the fourth page, maybe. No, nope. further on down. Here we go. Okay. Conversational practice three. So we have option one. And so let me let me try to zoom out. And then we have option two over here. And then this is the conversation response practice uh, where we say this part and then the person that is our buddy for this, then we would, they would say the response to us. And then we would say this one and then they would respond appropriately and so on. <coughs> hey, everyone ready? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm wondering, gotta, should we go over the the phrases? Um, but we only have thirty minutes. Okay. Um, how about that? So that Kyla the phrase. Things. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Well, what if we what if we just did these like trans uh say these in Kiowa, mm -hmm. um, and then we would know. So like you came for something. Isn't that aim Hyundai on? Uh? Mm -hmm. And then I came to learn Kiowa language. See now I gotta now I gotta scroll up. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Like if we went over the um uh, Kiowa, yeah, that one. Yeah. If we practiced that first and then went down and did the conversations. How's that sound? <laughs> I mean, that would be helpful for me because I've looked at it since we looked at it last year or last spring. <laughs> oh, I know. It feels like forever ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. So let's start with the uh, first one. Uh, so do we want uh, to hear our mentors say them? Uh, I would like to. Do we have time? Maybe if we did that this time and the next time we could do the conversation on it. Oh, if yeah, we you know, just did practice. the yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So let me let me pull up my uh, whoops, participant list to see who's <laughs> here. We'll just go down the line. Um. I think uh, Grandma Martha Nell, uh, they like you starting it <laughs> off, and then Grandma D, Grandma Dorothy. Uh, Miss Marion and Miss Melma. Does that work for an order? Mm -hmm. oh. One block at a time. Oh, okay. So we'll go with this. Time. Okay. I'm Honda. Uh. And. Oh. <laughs> Time oh, 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 time ah yeah okay okay is it my uh, turn huh go ahead grandma Dorothy Hondea um Hondea um oh uh, is this how you wanted us to do that or did you want us to all do just one at a time and then you guys repeat. I was thinking one at a time and then we could repeat so that way y'all could hear us and tell us if we're saying it correctly. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. Go oh. back. To okay, we'll go back to the top one then. Aim Hyundai uh. Aim Hyundai uh. 
Akatamat. No, we're saying one at a time. The blue oh. that's high value. Oh. I say the same thing. I'm Hyundai. I'm Han. Hi, I'm Hyundai. Did you come for something? Oh, who's next? Oh, who's next? Okay. Miss Marion, go ahead. Aim, oi, no. Aim, Hyundai. Aim, Hyundai. Ah. I think. Okay, every all the did all our. Mentors go. <laughs> mm -hmm. wow. Okay. All right. I'll start then. And then I'm just going to go down the little list. So, Cricket, you're next on my list. <laughs> oh. so, uh, all right. Uh, cool. I'm Hyundai. Uh. Oh, I'm Hyundai. Uh. Alice Ann. Uh. <clears throat> I'm Hyundai. Uh. Courtney. I'm Hyundai. Uh. Hey, Kima. I'm Hyundai. Uh. Is George with you? Oh. Uh, okay. George. I'm Hyundai. Uh. Oh. Nelson? I'm Hyundai. Uh. Tim. I'm Hyundai. Uh. Did we get everyone? Uh, Carolyn. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Carolyn. Usually, I see your name, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Hyundai. Uh. See how she said it. Um, I feel like we need to work. How how and say it more like how Carolyn said it, how she did her Hyundai on uh, and brought it down. Those two and, ups and then that one down. And I feel like you need to say ha I'm Hyundai. Uh. That yeah, and then say that ha in front of it to make a full sentence. And then also making sure at the end to say the ah uh, uh you know, like aim ah uh, uh and not really so much the aw. Uh you know uh, yeah with the nasal yeah don't use the a w but use the a nasal and it's a question oh. 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 <clears throat> so it should be ha im hon de uh yeah that sounded good okay i'll try it right um let's see question going up okay let's see ha im hon de uh uh Wait, let me say it again. <laughs> Eta. <laughs> okay. Ha aim Hyundai on. I keep saying the ah. Let me try it again. Ha aim Hyundai on. Was that better? Okay. I think Alice was next. Sorry, I'm Hyundai. Uh. Did I nasalize that right? I'm Hyundai. Uh. Sounded good to me. And if you want to put that ha in front of it, that question marker, oh, to make yeah, the full I'm sentence. Right. Ha, yeah. I'm, I'm Hyundai. Uh. Ha, I'm Hyundai. Uh. And that, I think that ha goes up. Oh, ha, I'm Hyundai. Uh. Right? Sounds like my um stresses are budding. Ha ha I'm Honda. Can you um aim oi toy? What did you say? Hot Dale? Grandma Dorothy. What's it? Aim oi toy with the ha. 
Can you say that full sentence for her? Which one is it? The first Paul one. Paul and Hyundai. Uh, first. Yeah. Uh, we all say it different, but that is the true way to say it. Hi, Monday. Uh. There you go. Hi. Hi, I'm Monday. Uh. Oh, that sounded good. Uh. Uh. Yeah, it's just the nasal. I think we have to put emphasis on the nasal because we're used to saying the uh, uh, like uh, uh, Yeah, but it's supposed to be yeah, uh, uh, like aim uh. Yeah, like Akima said it. She said, don't say ah, uh, say ah. Uh. Ha, aim, hon, de, ah. Uh. Yeah. That's Did something good. Did you or something? Mm -hmm. Oh. Awesome. Should we go to the next one? Does anybody else want to try it with the ha uh, in front of it? So, so once you put that ha in front, then uh, the English... Would say uh, like uh, did how am Hyundai? Did you come for something instead of Correct. you came for something? Mm -hmm. That's a question. Uh, mm -hmm. Question: Did you come for something? And does it sound better to you? Like to to hearing it? Does it sound more natural to ask it as a question instead it of stating it? It sounds warmer, nicer. How am Hyundai? How am Hyundai? There's another way to say that too. You could say, um, my name Honda, uh, you must be coming for something, you know. Yeah, oh. that kind of sounds yeah. yeah so that's not a question, saying. that's just saying that. Yeah. Did you say is that mon like yeah. M A U N? Yeah, my name Honda. Uh, and that kind of something. sounds like you're saying, Well, you came for something. I yeah. know you did. Mon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something I say to my kids. <laughs> I'd say Hyundai call on how I'm Hyundai, huh? Oh, I'm hey, be Hyundai all day, I'm son. Um, hey, I'm sorry. This is Alice. Did Grandma Dorothy add a hoy in there too? Like, what is that? What's it? Oh, I'm, I'm oh, Hyundai, uh. Yeah. At a Hyundai code. I said, I'm hey, babe. Come in. Hyundai on day. It is good. Hyundai call on mm -hmm. Hyundai. It sounded like when she, she first started, she said, I'm hoy Hyundai, uh. Did she say that at first? Did you say that? Hyundai, yeah, Hyundai, uh. That means, Simone, I guess you came for something. Mm hmm. Hmm. You could put it like that, or you can kind of soften it after, you know, just. Oh, hey, uh, Cricket. Hi. Um, oh. I, ha I have to uh, step away to go make sure these kids are eating. Okay. <laughs> can, uh, can you facilitate the next one? Is it okay, okay. if I still share my screen? Okay, do you want me to um I can share my screen um okay with that if you want. Oh, oh I don't know. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, thought, I, I think I have to download it. Hold on, hit Okay. Um let me see. Let me download it real fast. Where did it go? Okay, there it is. Okay, let me know. Let me just stop sharing. I'll stop sharing. Okay, let's see. Let me see. Yeah, let me see if I can if it comes up when we do it. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh. Do y'all see it? Oh. Okay. You might need um, to uh like zoom in just a little bit, just yeah. in case, because it's a little small, but I mean we can see it. Yeah, that's good right there. That's good. Right there? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, does anybody else want to uh practice it with the question in front of it? Ha I'm Hyundai uh. Ha I'm Hyundai uh. Hyundai uh. Ha Hyundai uh. I will. Okay, uh, go ahead. Thank you, ma. Ha I'm Hyundai uh. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Oh, oh. Okay. oh no, I am doing it. Did it? <laughs> what happened? I think my finger accidentally hit it. Now it doesn't want to go back. Okay. I'll practice it. This is Courtney. Okay. Huh. There. Ha, I'm Honda. Uh. All right, so, huh? Right. Uh, Dorothy, Dorothy and um, uh, Martha. So if you say, ha, I'm Honda, uh, aren't you saying, yeah, you came for something? No, so, are you? you are put you? it together. I'm mean, kind of put uh, the emphasis. Really, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ha, ha, I'm Honda. Uh. Oh, change it back. I was just softening those because you can say it in a way that it doesn't sound Kiowa. Mm -hmm. you're like one sounds like what are you wanting mm -hmm. so we need to make okay. sure when we say ha huh, like up up you know going up that we don't draw it out mm -hmm. that it's just oh, like I'm a Hyundai. short ha huh. oh, uh. yeah you got it there mm -hmm. yeah so if we say ha huh, too long mm -hmm. it says it sounds like i know you, you know yes i know you came for something yeah but if we, so we have to short, shorten that ha. Huh? Okay. We want to um, try it again. Uh, somebody else? Anybody yeah, else? I'll do it, George. Okay. So, ha. Ha, I'm Hyundai. Mentors, was that okay? Yeah, that sounded good. That still sounded like asking yeah. a question. Okay. It sounds like mean Kiowa and soft Kiowa. Mm -hmm. Either way you turn it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm home day, huh? Like, what'd you come for? <laughs> <laughs> what'd you come for? <laughs> and the other okay. one said, oh, I'm home day. Did you come for something? Okay. Oh, I'm Hyundai. Okay. All right. Anybody else want to try? Yeah. Okay. So I'll go ahead, Tim. Oh, I'm Hyundai. Um. Oh. I think it was the Where ending. And they just shorten that ending a little, or like, uh, it's a, I was doing that. I would say, uh, -huh. oh. we'll add uh -huh. that U in there. And it's hard for me not to. Oh, I'm Hyundai. Uh. Mm -hmm. Gonna try it again, Tim. Oh, I'm Hyundai. Uh. Yeah. That sounded better. How about elders? Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody else? Uh, Carolyn or um. Nelson? All right. So, um, so this one is, I came to learn Kiowa. Um, all right, uh, Miss Pula, will you say that phrase for us and then we'll get the other elders to say it, with, say it for us? Okay. Uh, go ahead, don't. Miss Velma. Grandma Dorothy. Okay. And she added goi tong yeah with the goi on there. Okay. Um and uh, Miss uh, Miss Hergera, a good the more time ah. Uh huh. And um, Miss Marion, a good the more time ah. All right. A good the more time ah. My time ah. And then Mahaim uh, would be, what's the difference? Oh, that needs to be changed. That T should be an H. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay Miss Marion caught it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Akoy Is that it right there? Yeah, yeah it's my oh, name is to learn and my yeah. name is to teach. Okay, so this is actually, I came to teach Kiowa. That's what it says, but it's over here, it says to learn. I know, but and actually what we're saying learn. is the English part needs to change. Mm -hmm. I came to teach Kiowa because because Dane is my tame, uh, what is he, my tame E? Is that mm -hmm. what he is? Yeah. Okay, and so my that tame. would be because he's a teacher. So we need a goi to ma tame. Uh, I came to teach Kiowa. Okay, we need to write that down. You got to change one or the other. <laughs> Yeah, because we're saying it down here oh, and hey. learning. So we need to make sure that we say that mm -hmm. um, that we're teaching. I came to teach Kiowa. Oh, hey. Yeah, learn and teach two different things. Okay. All right. So, so now we're going to say that we came. So remember that? I don't know how we can change it. We'll have to ask Melody. Yeah. Because I think she... Only, because she sent it to us as PDF, so I don't think we can change it. Anyway, um, so a goi ma tame ah. So I came to teach Kiowa. Is mm -hmm. that is that accurate? Yeah. So learn what we can teach. Yeah. Yeah. So change the learn to teach. Okay. Um. Okay, Miss Alice. Um. So I'm I'm doing that with the H, right? No, we're gonna we're gonna say akoito yes. akoito ah. So that's gonna be accurate. Just know that you're saying you came to teach. Oh, ha. Akoito matame ah. Akoito matame ah. Oh, ha. Uh, Courtney. Akoito matame ah. Right. Oh, Akima. Akima. A goy don't my name. Uh, uh, George. A goy don't my name. Ah, so a goy don't my name. Ah, let's just keep going down. All right, um, Nelson. A goy don't my tame. Oh, Tim. A goy don't my tame. Oh, Carolyn. A goy don't my tame. Ah. So, okay, so just remember that if somebody wants to put that in the chat, mm -hmm. um, put that little. Put that in the chat that that is actually teach. A goy toma tame a is actually to teach. Let's see. Um, uh, came to teach. Yeah, that was grandma asking for you. Kyla. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. I came. I'll put it in front of it. Okay. All right. So then now I came to visit. See, I need to learn these. Um, <laughs> that's good that we're going over this. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So we'll have uh, Miss Miss Pula. Okay. Will you? Okay. A time a goo, huh? A time a goo, huh? A time a goo. Um, Aho, I'm a Selma. A time make goo. All right. Um, Karma Dorothy. A time make goo. Uh. Oh. Uh, Miss um, Herger. A time make goo. Uh. All right. Miss Marion. A time make goo. Uh. A time make goo. Okay. And and you would just say it just like that. That would be a full sentence. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's why All you right. yeah. Okay. A uh, a uh, time make goo ah. 
a tai me gu a. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, um, Alice. A tai me gu a. So a well. tai me gu a. All right, uh, Miss Courtney. A tai me gu a. Right. Right. And uh, Akima. Uh, time may go. Uh. Oh, uh, George. Uh, time may go. Uh. Oh, why do guys always sound so good when they're saying this? <laughs> um, Nelson. Oh, uh, Tim. Uh, time a goo, uh. Oh, uh, Carolyn. Uh, time a goo, uh. Oh, uh. all right. All right. So that is, so if you want to tell somebody when they ask you, um, hi, I'm Hyundai, uh, you would say, uh, time a goo, uh. Um, and then you want to know what they're doing, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Miss Pula. Okay. And Miss Velma. Honde a oma. Grandma Dorothy. Honde a oma. Oh, uh, Miss Harigara. Honde a oma. And Miss Marion. No. Oh, 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 Time may not it not like the ghost dance uh, entity. It's a uh, time is being lonely. Oh, okay. It, it's lonely here. You would say get mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And time it go. It's goo is to get rid of the loneliness. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. that's neat. That's why I came. Time mm -hmm. make goo. Uh, mm -hmm. Lonely here. Oh, I like that. And so that goo is to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, like oh, wow. hitting, it's like hitting it. I guess. Oh, yeah. Shooing it, it away. If mm -hmm. I'm telling you something, Mm -hmm. Get timey, or it's lonely. Get timey. Oh, you know that helps me remember it when I hear you know it like and that. Then, and then you might you might answer your friend or whoever just say, "No, be daughter." You know when you're really lonely. Get timey, no be daughter. Pray. Just little things I like to add. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to pray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. I like that. Okay. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to try it. Honde a amo. Honde a amo. Honde a amo. There, I did it more better. More better. <laughs> All right. Um, Alice? Honde a amo. Okay. Um, Courtney? Honde a amo. Are we supposed to be going up on this one right here and then down on this one right here, Ms. Bulaw? Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Oh, mom. Like that. Oh, mom. Mm -hmm. So kind of your head goes up and then down. Mm -hmm. Oh, mom. Okay. All right. Um, all right. One more. Um, hey, Kima. Honda, oh, mom. All right. Um, George. Honda, oh, mom. Oh, and then on this Han, uh, Miss Pula on this Han, Han day. So it's like you're going down, Han, Han, and then day is going up. Is that uh, correct? It's a harder sound, harder sound at the end of that word. Han day. Han day. Han day. Okay. Han day. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ma. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Just making sure we have our up downs correct. Okay. Um, Nelson. Hyundai on arm. And Tim? Hyundai on arm. And Carolyn? Are you there, Carolyn? Oh, okay. Hyundai on arm. All right. Oh. oh, okay. So now, so so somebody came to teach Kiowa and they were visiting around and asking what they're doing. And now this person is trying to learn Kiowa. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Miss Pula, will you get us yeah. started on that one? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. And um, Miss Thelma, get going to Mohima. Oh, Grandma Dorothy, go ahead, don't get yet. Mohima, go ahead, don't get. Yeah, that's how that's how um, uh, um, Dr. Power would say it. Don't get, yeah, yeah, Mohima, yeah. Okay. Um and uh Miss Harrigera? Yeah, go to Mahima. All right. And Miss Marion. Yeah, go uh, yeah, go to Mahima. Yeah, go to Mahima. Okay. Yeah, go to Yeah, go to Mahima. And then Grandma Dorothy said, "Koi tong ya gyat mahema." Is that is that correct? Same difference. It's okay. Yeah. All right. Just kind of put in something before or after. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, Miss Alice. Yeah. Koi tong mahema. And um, Courtney? Yeah, go to Mahema. And Akima? Yeah, go to Mahema. Remember that part goes down. And George? Yeah, go to Mahema. All right, and Nelson? Yeah, All right. And Tim? Yeah, go to Mahema. Okay. And Carolyn? Yeah, go to Mahema. Yeah, go to Mahema. Okay. All right. So somebody came to learn Kiowa. So what is that? Oh, that's the one that Grandma Dorothy said down here. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That one. Okay, cool. All right. Means the same thing. Yeah. So it's the <laughs> same thing. So just like that gat part is um the pronoun. So this whole thing would be Kiowa language learning is the whole verb. And mm -hmm. this one is Kiowa language as a noun. 
-hmm. and there's your um pronoun. pronoun and then there's your verb so it's just mm -hmm. like yeah. you know just just figuring out you can make this the whole thing is a verb mm -hmm. or you can divide it out into a noun a pronoun and a verb mm -hmm. all right so that's grammatically yeah. kind of what's happening mm -hmm. okay now we'll say it the way um grandma dorothy was saying it Go ahead, don't get more hammer. All right. Go ahead, don't get get more Go ahead, don't get get more Go ahead, don't get get more And Miss Marion. Go ahead, don't get get more Okay. Would you say Mahema because I'm going to learn it? That's that kind of the tense of it. Mahema instead of just hang. I don't know. Okay. Mahema. Okay. Um, Here we go. Goi dong yak yak Mahema. All right, um, Miss Alice. Oi, dong yak yak mahema. Get mahema down. And Courtney. Oi, dong get get mahema. Oh, Julia. I mean, um, Anki ma. Oi, dong get get mahema. And I think on this one. Julie, um, Ankima, this part uh -huh. right here is you're going up, or at least to me, it sounds like you're going up. Um, you Which part is point to it? Uh, do you see I it got... where I highlighted it? it? It sounds like you're going ma instead of ma. Go ahead, don't get, get, ma, hey, ma. There we go. Was that better, guys? Ma, hey, ma. Yeah. Ma, hey, ma. Okay. <laughs> All right, and uh, George. Go ahead, don't get get my hand off. Okay, and um, Nelson. Go ahead, don't get get my hand off. Go ahead, don't get my hand off. Oh, like that, and see how Tim like went up and down on that hey, like that. Okay, good job, Carolyn. Oh, don't get, get, mahe, mo. Oh, so, huh. all right. Um, all right, so you could say it either way. And so then you just want to ask um, how somebody is feeling. And we've done that one several times. So, um, uh, Grandma, I mean, uh, Miss Pula. It's okay. Oh, I'm for young, though. Ms. Thelma. Hi, Boyomda. Grandma Dorothy. Hi, Boyomda. All right. Ms. Hare Gary. Hi, Boyomda. And Ms. Marion. Hi, Boyomda. Hi, And see, yeah. I like that because how it shows you the difference between ha and the ha and ha like when we were doing that one up there the top one ha and ha all right um miss alice ha and boy ha and boy young dog right courtney ha and boy young dog hey kima Hi, boy. Hi, boy. Home, dog. Oh, uh -huh. George. Hi, boy. Home, dog. Oh, uh -huh. Nelson. Hi, boy. Home, dog. Oh, Tim. Hi, boy. Home, dog. And Carolyn. Hi, boy. Home, dog. So, uh -huh. all right. And now we're answering it and. Um, 
how many do we have? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know. So <laughs> okay. Um maybe we'll get to um next week we can start on the this one. So we'll do these these um these next two and then we'll get on here the Han A's, okay? <laughs> All right. So we'll do one Han and then we'll do the rest, the rest of the Han A's tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, not tomorrow, next week. Can't, I don't know how I'd say next week. <laughs> okay. Um, what are we doing? Does oh. everybody say this one? Did you guys say, did the, did y'all say this already? No, we did that question above it. Oh, okay. All right. Um, all right. Go ahead, Ms. Pula. Okay. Oh, no. Ha apoyom da. Grandma Dorothy. Ha apoyom da. Miss Hergera. Ha apoyom da. Miss Marion. Ha apoyom da. Apoyom da. Ha apoyom da. Courtney. Ha apoyom da. Hey, Kimo. Ha apoyom da. George. Oh, up or home, doll. Doll. And go down on the doll. Um, Nelson. Oh, up or home, doll. Tim. Oh, up or home, doll. Go down on the doll. Um, no, Carolyn. Oh, up or home, doll. Doll. All right. And then we're going to say, um, not so well. we said, yes, we're well, and no, we are not well. And then would you go on and tell them why? <laughs> <laughs> not. <laughs> okay. Not really. Don't tell us. <laughs> All right. All right. Ms. Pula. Okay. Hon up, yum, dama. Come on, Dorothy. Miss Hergera. Miss Marion. What is it? Huh? A Okay. Hon a poem. Okay. Hon a poem. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's okay. Um, okay. I mean, <laughs> it's like well, you guys don't need to read it. We we do, but y'all don't. Okay, here we go. I uh, I've never actually ever said this. Um, dama. I need to go down on the mall. Hana poyom da ma. 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 Da ma. Hana poyom da ma. Is she is she going up? I'm or going up. I'm going up. <laughs> is your head going up? <laughs> it's going down. Da ma. Da ma. Da ma. Dama. I hear Dama instead of Dama. Yeah. Anapoyom Dama. Yeah. Okay. Um. What do you have, Miss Courtney? Anapoyom Dama. Okay. Um. And Kima. Hana boy home, Dama. All right. And George? 
Hana po hyong da ma. Aloha. And Nelson? Hana po hyong da ma. Hande em saita. Hai. Hatsuana tong, yeah. How come? Or would you just say hondo? Yeah, nando. Nando. Oh, yeah, nando. Nando. Yeah, nando. Okay. Oh. Nando. Nando. So down and then up. Nando. Nando. Mm. Can't say. <laughs> Uh, you say, if your head hurts, that's always what happens to me. You would say, would you say, uh, uh, how how would you say that? If your head hurts. I'll tame cope, though. That's a, okay. Is that how you say that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grandma Dorothy, if you have a headache, how would you say that? Uh, I'll tell Cope, though. Okay, that's right. So, huh, Nelson? Um, all right. Uh, Tim? So, see how he went down? Like that. That was good. All right, Carolyn. Okay, let me see. Where are we? Okay. Han, apo hyon da mo. Yeah. So, huh. Okay. All right. So, um, I don't want to keep us on until nine. <laughs> uh, so we can practice these a uh, few here with the hanes. I'll put it a note in there, and uh, and then we'll and then we can do um these uh, conversation, oh, it's just one conversation. So look at your conversation, write it down and be ready um, for, and be ready for the, uh, for talk, speaking with each other. Um, and I was gonna say, we have the, on the, 16th will be the next in-person class for Norman. So we'll meet at District 7 office on the 16th. So next Monday is going to be Columbus Day and um, I have an activity that I'm doing at my school. So um, No, they can all be it's indigenous people today. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. said Columbus so, Day. No, not anymore. We took well, it back. We reclaimed it. <laughs> uh, oh, I know what I was going to do. Um, you know that stuff? If anybody wrote it down, that said time. Um, did we write it down already? Oh, I did. I said it's shooing it away, shooing away the loneliness. Okay. I was making sure I had it in the chat. Um, would, I'm going to stop sharing. Um, Grandma Dorothy, ma'am, would you pray for us, Bay Dot? Sorry, sure, I hope. Dorothy, I eat corn, Peter, on the good side. The corn tiger, the tide, the ink, a hundred eight mohammed. Hundred only, only a comber. I do eight, eight comma. I'm better. How you hundred get on mum de gumma? The corn tiger got the tide, the I get the dog gets under. It I got the dog a day to look at how the dog a collie by dog. Goik a gumbo bait the time on ya. Get the goik don't get higger get go do. Higger get go do mata go. We respect our Kaiwa language. We think of it, we love it. 
it's the love of our people that have gone on and it's our remembrance of them that we strive so hard to learn this. It makes me so happy that you sent us this caliber of people that we taught. Lord, they're all from good families, kind families, Kiowa-oriented families. And I want to thank you for the fine, fine people that passed before we did, that we're able to sit here and pray and learn and with a grateful heart, dear Heavenly Father, on account of your son and everybody, I'm Pedro Tepado, a ho de barho, on de on de no on. A ho. A ho. Oh. Oh. Good prayer. Well, um, hope to see you guys next week. And I know that Melody runs stuff on Sunday too. So um, if y'all want to get on on Sunday, she has her um, Zoom on Sunday. Um, for those that are in NVR, if you want to get more hours in, um, join on Sunday. And so you can make your five hours for the month. All right. Um, uh, cricket? <clears throat> no, yes. this, we wouldn't meet. We would not meet on Sunday. Oh, so we're not, y'all aren't meeting on, okay. No this, meeting on Sunday. Okay, this thank you. Sunday for Black Lives. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to run into that. Um. Okay. All right. Oh. So no meeting. So go to um, Hong mm -hmm. Kong and and speak. Uh, um. Everybody speak Kiowa while you're there. <laughs> Every every Sunday is our greatest traditional day as Kiowa, so we honor our warriors. It's it's something to look forward to with reverence and thankfulness. Oh, I'm anxious. I hope I'm able to dance. I is just, that Tonka Conga? Yes. Is that this weekend? Oh. Oh wow. Everything's ready. And they had cedaring last week, right? Yes, we had it Sunday. Wonderful meal, wonderful prayers. There's a lot of people camp. <clears throat> Kiowas have always been known for honoring our our people. How nice that we still have our six organizations. Away and running with our own songs, with our own traditions, with our own good ways. Thank God for that every day. Oh. Pray for me, y'all. I hope you feel better, Grandma Dorothy. Yeah, thank you, sweetie. I'll see y'all. Love y'all. Go hey, stay and go. Very good, they talk. Oh. Hey, got my tongue tied. Oh, hey, got my oi. Oh, yeah. Hey, got my oi, bong da. Hey, got my oi. Oh, really? All right. Night, everybody. Oh, I so be wrong. <laughs>